Hello makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen and I'm 44 years old and I live here in sunny Derbyshire. Now today is going to be a different video. As you know I usually do reviews or swatches on my videos or show your hauls, things like that. But today is going to be different because I'm going to dedicate my video to the beautiful Mel Thompson. Um, if you are a member of the beauty community or like me, love makeup, love YouTube and love watching these beautiful people and making beautiful creations, you will know who I'm talking about. Uh, Mel sadly lost her life last week. Um, the details haven't been given out yet how she has passed. Um, I do know she was suffering from a number of illnesses. Um, she really struggled but she still smiled and um, that's what I, I really loved about Mel. Um, she was such a beautiful lady and you could see that. It actually shone through. Um, she's um, so genuine, so honest, so lovely and just such a lovely, lovely person and I think it's really rocked the beauty community uh, as well as obviously her friends and family, the people who know her best. So my way of remembering her is I wanted to do a video just so I, I just wanted to show off her amazing creation really, her, her pride and joy. Uh, I remember watching the video when she was uh, she was saying that what she had made with Sydney Grace and the look on her face was pure excitement. She was so humble, so honest, so beautiful and you could see how excited she was, she could hardly contain herself and then she did a number of videos with each different looks and that and I'm like, I need that palette, I need that palette. Um, unfortunately I couldn't get it. <laughs> um, I, sorry, I'm choking up myself, I said I wouldn't do that but yeah, carry on. Um, so, reason, how, how can I put this, how I got to get into Mel on YouTube because I hadn't seen her before um, was actually watching decluttering videos because I've got a I've got a thing about watching makeup decluttering videos they're kind of addictive to me and I had a paper and pen of all the eyeshadows that I'm getting rid of and going yeah I'd like that one and I'd like this one got my list and every time I watched a makeup decluttering video did I see this particular palette of Mel's getting in the no definitely saving the didn't have to think about them saving it and that was this the tiny marvels and I had to have it uh, like I say it was out of stock every time uh, it's been a limited edition and it just flies out just literally flies out as soon as it's advertised it's gone uh, so I was actually lucky enough to get this on the last time um, that it was released so I'm, I'm very proud and honoured to own this palette um, I do know that the artwork was actually created by the tattooist who tattooed Mel. As you know, she's got beautiful tattoos and lots of them are of insects, creeper crawlies. What I find cute, a lot of people might find, <laughs> but I mean, I know she's got like, is it a praying mantis down her neck and she's centipedes or bugs and weird and wonderful things. And that is what, because it's one of her loves, um, is incorporated into this because you think why is, why is the ladybugs and why is the centipedes and I don't get it perhaps a beautiful butterfly the you know a caterpillar turning into a butterfly that I can get but all these creeper crawlies for a, you know an eyeshadow it's not until you know Mel know her channel that you understand why these are depicted on her palette yeah I mean the artwork is absolutely amazing I'll just give you a really good close-up of it so yeah, her tattooist designed this for her and it is absolutely out of this world, just for the artwork alone. Um, so yeah, she teamed up with Sydney Grace for this. It is currently out of stock. Um, what I would love to see, Sydney, if you're listening to this, I would love for you to do a special edition of this for the remembrance of Mel. Um, maybe the proceeds go to charity, uh, one that would be close to Mel's heart. I think that I think for, for Mel we could do something like that. That would be absolutely amazing, and um, just to see it fly off again, 
um, you know, a special edition just for Mel. Well, that would be amazing, absolutely amazing to see. And I would love to see the internet, YouTube get blown up with her creation. Because wait until you see inside, you'll understand what I'm meaning. It was it's so beautiful, it's so Mel. Uh, I'm wearing it now. They are my colours as well, and there are colours in there that'll suit everybody. Because some palettes you can go, oh no, that's not mine, not my cup of tea, there's nothing there for me. But in this one, I I would say there's something for everybody in this. So I'm going to put it down, I'll just give you a quick look at my eyes. I haven't put any eyelashes on, <laughs> you know, false eyelashes on. Of course I've got eyelashes, not very long ones, but I wanted to have a good look um, at what I've done with her beautiful creation. Um, please ignore, just up, up here somewhere, for some reason, I seem to have got a dry patch of skin. Uh, I'm not using anything different, um, so I don't know. Um, I haven't mentioned, but the reason why I didn't film last week was I'm actually off work at the moment. Um, I've got chronic back issues, um, so if you think perhaps I look a bit like I'm in pain, it's because I am in an awful lot of pain. Um, but I wanted to do this video for Mel. She would do it for us, so I just wanted to just, it's my way of saying thanks Mel for all that you've done. So yeah, so I'm wondering if this is all in, you know, uh, all tied up with what's going on with my body and my back and everything like that. So ignore that eye, ignore that eye. Look at this one. So as you can see, beautiful tones. Um, the green is, um, I think it was the praying mantis. Uh, yeah, down this side. Um, if if you watch the videos, you see the praying mantis there, and the green is actually the same green as her praying mantis tattoos. So the green, that I call it like a pistachio green, it's a really beautiful green. Then there's the purples, there's some uh, browns, two different types of browns. Um, there's the beautiful gold there, then there's the white there. Um, that part there is flexarian. As you know, I like to put a bit of um, highlighter just there under my brow bone, just, just to connect the dots. And that is what I've done. Um, so I am not gonna review it, because I can't review it. It's too beautiful to review and I would not do that to Mel because it's a million percent anyway. It's not a review video. It's my way of saying thanks Mel for all that you've done. So I'll open this up so it came in a slip sleeve just like ordinary. There we go. So it looks exactly like the top. So if you're I mean, I'm actually thinking of doing it, taking the cardboard box and making an actual picture out of it because I am one who keeps the cardboard boxes. If they are actually the same size, if they're massive, then I don't. Um, but I like to keep the cardboard boxes. But I'm thinking of actually making this into a picture, you know, popping a picture frame. I might do that. So here we go. So these are the amazing colours. I will go through them one by one and tell you what the colours are. Um, so it's magnetic and you get a big, big mirror. And I'll just let you, let you have time to have a good look at that. Like I say, I am not going to swatch these. I am not going to review it. I'm just going to just let you absorb it and fall in love with it, like what everybody else has done. See what I mean? How there are colours there for everyone. Uh, you can create a neutral nook, nook look, uh, a really wacky look, a goth look, any look at all. Uh, I haven't used any of the shimmers. Uh, only the the gold one there and uh, that was just for the corner of the eye I didn't touch any of these up at the top uh, I obviously used that purple there I started off with I believe it's called tree hopper um, just in the inner crease just to get going and then to deepen up the look it was that one and then I used obviously mantis which is the middle one and this one up here I think it's called web I used for I like to, as you know, go up from there and then do a little bit out, branch it outwards and I just branch it up on the top just with a little bit of the web. Okay, so I'm going to call these names out. So I'm just going to pull it to one side so I can actually read what this is called. So web, like I say, is that one just from the top part. Tree hopper, that is that beautiful, almost a bis dark chocolate, um, mint chocolate colour. I love it. And then the next one is Firebutts. I love the name Firebutts. Of course, in England, we don't have fireflies. So 
I think it's quite endearing to be called fire butts. I quite like that. And then you've got the walking stick uh, without the G, so it's walking stick. And then we have scarab, which is a, a beautiful light two-tone colour. Um, then flutterby. And then BB. I love that. The inner corner. Wow. And then, of course, Mantis. Again, that is her neck tattoo and the exact colour of her neck, neck tattoo. And then we have Meadowhawk. That's another beautiful shimmer. Lovebug, spelled L-U-V. Love that. It actually looks so much better in real life. That is a lovely mauve colour. And then we have Jewel B. I love that. That is my favourite. That and the green together. Um, I've done some really good looks with those. And Marvel, of course. And then we have Death Moth. Uh, Bugaboo. I love that name. And then we have Spider, spell Spider with the Y. So yeah, that's her amazing, amazing creation. Absolutely beautiful. I say I would love Sydney to recreate this again for Mel, uh, a special edition release to commemorate what she has done, what she's achieved, because this palette is absolutely amazing. So there we go. I, I just I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, like I said, it's not a review video. It's just my way of remembering such a beautiful person. Uh, please go and watch her videos. Um, I've been watching them over the weekend because I think it was Friday um, that it was on social media that she had unfortunately lost her life and had passed away. Um, so over the weekend, I've, I've been basically just watching Mel and floods of tears, as you can imagine. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss her smiling face and those beautiful eyes. She has the most amazing eye shape and the most amazing tutorials like she does. She really gets up and in there showing you her eyes. Uh, I wish I had the confidence to do that because I don't. That's why I don't do tutorials. I am not a makeup artist. I'm self-taught and I don't feel that I know enough or qualified enough to do that. So that's why I just do my reviews and other things with you guys. But yeah, please check Mel out. Please like and subscribe her videos um, because they are beautiful. Um, she was such a beautiful lady. I know I keep saying she's a beautiful lady, but she is. Um, so yeah, please, please watch. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's not a very happy one, um, but like I say, it's just my way of thanking Mel for doing what she's done and for being an amazing creator and I hope that YouTube do keep her videos on there I, I would hate to see not being able to see those again um, so YouTube please please keep showing them I would, I, would oh, I think we all in the same boat we would all love to keep seeing those keep seeing her smiling face and her saying hey beauties it really perks you up when you see that her smiling face so yeah uh, I'm trying my best not to cry, so I think I'm going to stop it there and um, just say, yeah, please stay safe and all being well, I should see you again next week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.